guys. It's Dandelion. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back. Um, I uh, you just can't make this up. So I just I just had the feeling to check from where Diana died, which is right n next to the Eiffel Tower, and there is a little pyramid right here. And I did do some measurements on that, and I'm going to do that again for you real quick. But I just want to show you um, what, before I do that where this is first of all on the, the face of Isis I don't know if you can see when all of these M's pop up they come out a little bit and you can see the face that they've drawn here in the street I mean in the streets um, so uh, the reason why I'm interested in Diana is because I didn't realize that she that Diana that Diana is Artemis is um, Inanna Ishtar or at least there's a correlation, if not, if if not being the same thing. And um, right here, I had looked at this before, and I didn't realize also that this there's a tunnel here. So I'm not sure exactly what where this is in the, or where she the thirteenth pillar was, but this is supposedly an ancient spot where they worshipped. Um, uh, maybe it's prop. Probably since it, I think they used uh, human sacrifice, they probably worship Tecate, which some people think is the same as Inanna Ishtar. And I, I think there's a positive aspect and a darker aspect. And I also don't think these are moon goddesses. I think that the moon is a distortion. I think that it's actually an exoplanet. And um, there's also supposed to be a torch here, which kind of is um, their idea of, um, of a sacrifice symbol. Well, anyway, so I decided to measure this spot to her burial spot, and you just can't make this up. It's 277 miles, so that is kind of like our, our way number, and it's also the ISIS number, the the divergent sevens, and I've talked about that in a few videos. It's a it's a symbol of ISIS, and I believe that it is a 7-7, seven, seven, and one of the clues, whenever you see a 7-7, seven, seven, that's what they're talking about. But also a 49 is also the Divergent 7s. And we see the Divergent 7s having to do with various um, initiations among the elite. For example, Tiger Woods, during his humiliation initiation, he wore a 7-7 seven, seven on his forehead in, the, in his hat. And also I decoded that hat, and it also had the, the date 923 in it. And here... The uh, heading is a nine twenty is a nine twenty three backwards. It's three two nine. So I just thought I'd bring that to you and see what you think. Um, I'm gonna save that line. Let me pause it. I'll be right back and show you the other measurements. So the three two nine heading, you know, um, it's uh, I'm still trying to figure out what are they really doing with this number, but we're seeing it so many places. For example, I saw it. I don't know if you've seen. If this is your first video, you might want to check out some of the things that I found in Paris with ISIS. Um, here, the other place that comes to mind, at least in Paris, is the height of this chalice that has the holy, I'm going to call them the holy twins. I don't know what else to call them. Um, and this, the height of this is 329 or, nine, or 923, depending on how you look at it. Let me drag it down here. Let me just do this. Yeah. So the three two nine, three miles and three miles point two nine. Just wanted to show you that, and then also. There's a one coming this way is a is a one thirty nine point two six degree heading. I'm not sure how important all those numbers are on the heading. I'm not sure they might be referring to something else on the heading. But I just wanted to bring that to you. But let's go back. Um, and I wanted to show you the the pyramid here. And the thing that's interesting about this is how it connects to the Eiffel Tower man. If you haven't, if you haven't seen, let me pause this. And make my box bigger. Hold on. If you haven't seen the Eiffel Tower man, I have a few on my blog. I have him drawn out. I haven't done a time lapse of him yet because I found him before I was doing videos. But 
you can see right here, this is where the Pont, Pont de Alma is. And I think, I heard that the Alma in French means something else, but in Spanish it means soul. So I, I'm not sure if it's a um, point of the soul or if I'm kind of just thinking the Spanish name. And some of the pe people that I listened to, I think, um, including David Icke, said that this was a city where they did a lot of um, ancient uh, Isis worship, and some of it was kind of dark. And, you know, I don't know if that makes uh, the Isis, you know, and the Mother Mary aspect of that dark. I think we have to uh, withhold our judgment on that because we don't know what the motivation of all these different things are. We don't know if that if the symbols have been dirtied on purpose or, you know, we just have to, I feel like we have to dig deeper before, you know, we can try to sort out uh, to moralize. But I wanted to show you the two parts here of the pyramid, and I'm going to do the heading as if we're going straight up through the pyramid, which is a little bit difficult to do because the, I think from here to here, um, it's 0.52, and that is the, that's what I call the quantum, the quantum random generator number. That's the, this, um, the deck of 52 cards. And I don't know if they intentionally make these a different size. This is a 58, but I just wanted to show you that. But also, um, the heading here is an 11. Point one. When you do these short headings, they're not very accurate, and I don't know if I should go to the center here, because if I do, it's an 1199, which is very close to a 12. I'm not sure if they're trying to say an 11 heading here or a 12 heading. And I also have to kind of work on, I wish I knew where the torch was. I don't see the torch. So I think the torch is really where you should measure from, but I don't see it. But what I wanted to show you is the proximity. This this line of the pyramid goes to the foot of the Eiffel Tower man, and he has a very precise gateway height. His height to his pineal gland is um, 0 .0, I, it's a 1.01 .01 if we go to the center of this, which they usually put these in the right place so that you know where you're supposed to measure to. And I've done all of these different measurements. Every one of these, these are chakras. All of these have meaning and separate measurements in between them. Um, but anyway, so the bottom of the pyramid comes here. And then the other leg of the pyramid goes to what I would say would be the Orion part of his belt. I do think these three circles right here are actually supposed to be, it's almost like a chi ro that has a cross. So you can kind of look at this as um, if you laid over, like, say, the Jade Helm logo or the Chi Rho, I think that it's supposed to go over here. And it's supposed to cross right here at the belt. And so I believe this is symbolic of the belt of Orion. And if you look in, in, at other star maps and Wayne Herschel's work, the belt of Orion points at um, the Pleiades. And if you which is usually the seven hills. So if you go south, you go to the seven hills of Rome. If you go north, there are actually seven hills next to Stonehenge that are mostly unknown to most people. And then um, in uh, Stonehenge, let's come out and look, go look at Stonehenge. This line goes straight through the Solar Tower Man to Stonehenge. I'm just going to show you that. And then it does go straight up to a Freemason um, lodge farther up. So, I, so that is supposed to be, this is, if this was a star map, this is supposed to be the star of Ra. And there are seven hills, they're really small, and they're, if you can find them, if you, if you Google this, or if you search, put this in the search box on hiddenrecords.com, he, um, Wayne Herschel has a really good picture of them. He flew over in an airplane. And I think I saw them one time on Google Earth, but they're a little bit hard to find, and I don't want to take up your time to find them. So I wanted to show you that the that this site, and the reason why I'm looking at this site is because I got the idea that 
perhaps the 816 that we're seeing in the Georgia Guidestones, maybe that's actually a 96 because it does fit with the Saturn numbers that we've been seeing and it's, it fits with um, free, um, it's the reverse of free. So in terms of the opposites that the Illuminati like to do, it fits in with that. Also, the interesting thing about 96 is it is actually nine days before September 15th, which is a day where Jade Helm ends. And I think we're going to see some more um, fallout from what is going on with that. I, I hope we don't, but I, I think we're going to understand more. But also, if you're from, in Washington, D.C., um, Wayne Herschel did this work where he did, where he made a graphic of Washington, D.C. If you're looking east at, from the Washington Monument, where I've done some, I have a video up about the time-lapse drawings that I did there of Isis, Osiris, Horus, and the Owl. That if you look east along that line, and that's the line that the Pope's going to be on in September, that apparently in the eastern sky, Orion will be rising. And I'm not sure how far or how vertical it is on September 15th, but um, what Wayne Herschel alludes to is that 33 degrees from the tip of the Washington Monument will be the Star of Ra. And I guess it's hard to see unless you know what you're looking for. It might be a dim star. It's supposed to be a wormhole. So that is another important aspect about that date. So I just want to watch that date. And, and I was wondering because, say, you know, September 15th, it does reduce to um, a 9-6, which is the funeral day for Diana, who does have an Isis, Artemis, Diana, um, Diana uh, goddess tie-in to the Isis that we see here in Paris and then we also see in Washington, D.C. So that's the date investigation that I'm looking at and I'm just curious, what are they pointing at? What are they talking about? So uh, also please take a look at the work that I've done with the, um, the twins here in the womb of Isis. If you look at her this way, there's her head and there's her halo. And I've done this drawing, so you can go and look and see. And she's holding the Christ child or the Horus child. The Horus child's called Harpocrates. I'm not sure what was intended by this drawing, but you can see that if you look at the way that they've drawn out these lines, that she has an arm coming this way and the child has a hand going towards the mother. And then the mother has a body and some legs and I've drawn this out before so that you can see she has some legs here and she has um, a circle here which is happens to be Disneyland and inside the circle are two twins so I would like to know more about these twins there's a lot of 923 numbers right here and so hopefully hopefully uh, the Illuminati is doing something either benign or something that we don't understand that's not harmful but I just want—I just think we should need, need to pay attention and try to understand the dates that they're pointing to. And I think Diana is a key of this, a key to this puzzle. So that's why I went and looked at her um, her burial place and the and the distances with that. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you're having a good day. Talk to you later. Bye bye.